Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's time for the 2015 Minnesota Deer Hunting Opener. Definitely deer hunting weather. Snow coming down. Okay, we're just getting everything brought in here. Uh, I think Zachary and them should be up. They're only, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes behind us here. So, and I have to go out and pick, the, pick them up down the road a ways because this car won't make it all the way in. Since we have four of us up here for this initial weekend, Sarah's staying until Tuesday. I'll be up here probably all week. Uh, we're setting up the second refrigerator, putting it out, uh, putting it outside because it's the high is supposed to be like 39 tomorrow or something, so it'll barely have to really work. Sarah just took my truck down to go pick up Samantha and Zachary. Hey guys, welcome to Deer Camp. <laughs> You guys made it up pretty quick. That wasn't too bad. That's nice. Hey, Sam. Hey. All right. Keep this water up. the land, but they do it really secretive. Like, cause the landowners and like Maine and stuff. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Listen for the walkie-talkie. Okay. All right. Zachary and Samantha are going to go out and look at Zachary's stand. He's going to bring out uh, just some of the stuff that he needs tomorrow, the little seat cushion and stuff like that. All right. We just came out here to check on the stand, and uh, looks good. Still here. Come on in. I like the dance going on in here. <laughs> uh, you go up to your stand or just... Yeah. Like, huh. And they, this is a smaller version. They make one with a little bit longer blade and then they make one with a gut hook, which I'm out of those. I see, uh, I see. But it's a nice, it's a stainless blade, you know, composite huh. handle and uh, pulls a really good edge and it's just a nice, you know, skinny. Right. Huh. So... And then where do you sell these? At the store. Oh, and you do? On the website, although I don't think I have that one listed on the website. I see. But uh, these three I do. This this maker, his name is Monty Koski in Kauhava. So, and so that's Moose Antler, Fiber Spacer Moose, the Curly Birch. Oh, I brass, see. And then the Carbon Blade. Huh. Which one of these do you think I'd be the best to use? I should. Uh... It's up to you. Whatever feels best and or looks nicest, or you know. Whatever. They're all nice. For, actually, for me, a shorter blade. All I'm doing is gutting it. Yeah. You know what I mean. So. Yeah, yeah that's that's an awesome knife. Yeah. Maybe I'll try this one here. I'll, sure. I like this one. I do. Yeah, that'll be super. Okay. So I mean, I imagine I'll be filling both of their tags anyway, but just in case. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just conk him on the head in the morning and leave him here in the back bedroom, and then you guys go out and hunt. Yeah. You know, I mean, they would conk me on the head, and I would wake up an hour later, and they'd both be sleeping. <laughs> well, and then, do you? What is the? What's your the website? PukoCutlery.com. P-U-U-K-K-O Cutlery. Okay. Com. Okay. Yeah. I'll make sure I put a link for that too in the yeah. description. So, yeah. 
So is that is that your is that your website name? Okay, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. He was uh, showing how he was pressure cooking uh, ribs, and then finishing them off on the grill. You know, so to do ribs from from raw to eating, you know, in about forty five minutes. Oh, that would be good. Um, yeah. So, so like, what what's the name of the YouTube channel? Living North. Living North. That's right. So if you just put in Living North. It doesn't seem to want to, because I think those words get you to too many other. Oh, yeah. But if you put in Living North Channel, I mean, you still have to scan down about three screens or so, and then there's a little round circle, and there's you can see two little guys in there, and that's he and I standing on the Kenai River in Alaska. That's kind of the cover photo. Oh, I see. I and see. That, Okay, now that George left and Samantha and Zach are back, Sarah and I are going to run out to my stand and drop off a sleeping bag and something to sit on, and then we're going to go to Sarah's stand and do the same thing. I've decided to sit in my far stand tomorrow morning because the wind is supposed to be west-northwest, and that's the better wind for this one. In the other clearing stand, anything from the east is perfect. What if you wake up tomorrow and it was coming from the east? I would go to the other stand. Nice grape. There's another nice one. There's another one. Okay, my stuff is up there and things are looking good. Direct miss. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna run out and do the same at Sarah's stand. Want that? Yeah. Sarah still has a scrape out here in these clearings on the edge. That's a nice clean one yet too, so I'm still using it. We'll be cooking on no time on that one. <laughs> All the wood's wet, it doesn't work. The hair and put big, big screws at an angle. Oh. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Uh, we just all went over and saw the backwoods cabin or saw the folks' cabin over there. I see Wayne's up there and then he had put a couple more uh, head mounts on that wall where the moose is, so I wanted to take a look at that. Chug, chug, yeah, come on, it. come on, you can do it. Let's see this sign here. I believe I made a good shot. Get my ass up here. Just make it. You can find anything else. That's because it's the world. Introducing the all new. Okay, everyone. Well, tonight for supper, I'm going to throw on, I think they're just arm steaks, and we're going to try that marinade. Uh, we got that marinade on the two, and we've got that seasoning on the other two. Earlier today, I made a loaf of bread. I bought a cheap bread maker at uh, one of the thrift stores. We brought that over when we went over to the Backwoods Cabin or over to the Folks' Cabin. Dropped that off with a jar of jerky, and now Sarah put in her secret recipe or whatever it's called into the bread maker and she's making a loaf for later on. So I'm just about to put the steaks on. I have baked potatoes. I did them in the oven inside. I've got uh, stuffed mushrooms that are in the oven right now and we're going to have French cut green beans.
I think this still has some time. We'll see. Oh, actually. That one does have some blood in it, though. But, I mean, there are two of them can be red. Yeah. Because we want them kind of red. This one, I think, looks pretty good. It is red when you squeeze it, but this okay. doesn't look like this. That one's pretty good. Well, but it's not well done yet. Okay. All right. And she wants it well done, so. Okay, I think. Is that one marinated? This one I think is normal. How about the first one? Marinated for the It first was, one. okay. Yep. So what do you think about the marinade? It's good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Very good, yeah. The other one I put that buck seasoning on. I don't know if you'll be able to taste it. I don't know if I had it heavy enough, heavy enough on there, but what you got going out here? Fire going. Is, it, is the stove working good? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. She's going. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wood's a little wet, but. I bet it is. Yeah. Okay, everyone. So dinner is done, and now all we're doing in there is getting our deer hunting stuff ready, putting everything in our backpacks and stuff like that. Okay, so we have a one and a half pound uh, bread maker, and Sarah tried to do a five pound loaf. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Oh, oh wow. I think oh, it, it works. Looks, it, it looks, looks good. Yeah. It looks like the top is already ready. We don't have an end piece. You <laughs> happen to have. I don't know how many are in here, but... Oh, is that your favorite? Oh, is that going in there? Yep, there's a couple of them in there. Samuel smells, though. Wait, 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 what is that? Okay, okay. What the hell? What is that? That's dough and heat smell? Well, actually, this is... That's actually... This is dough and heat smell. Oh, wow. You know, if these girls keep building like this... All right, everybody. Well, it's about five minutes to ten. Some light snow flurries, just like a flurry off and on coming down. It's about 34 degrees right now, and I am off to bed. Um, I got the alarm set for four o'clock in the morning, and tomorrow is the deer hunting opener. It's 20 minutes after 4 guys, time to think about waking up. Okay everyone, so both the kids are going out to their stands. Sam is going to wait. She's going to sit out with Zach this afternoon, but decided not to this morning. So now I'm going out to the far stand. I'll get out there to mine. Well everyone, it's been an exciting morning here. Uh, 
it's just about time to head back to the tent and make jambalaya for lunch. I saw five deer this morning, and one of them was a buck. This morning, there was, uh, it was about 6.30, which was shooting time was 6.21. And a doe came through here. It was so hard to see because it was so dark. And uh, a little while later, a buck came up, and I could see that it had horns, but it ran through here. And it was just too dark. There was no way to get a good shot off at it. And then another doe came from over in that direction and came through here. And uh, there was another one that was up over there and came through. And it was exciting anyway, but haven't shot anything yet. Well, it looks like two sets of tracks here where Zach was, so he must have already headed back to the tent. She says that she heard it, but she didn't respond back. Oh, no, really? That's what you said. Good luck. All right, we'll see you tonight. Well, I didn't see anything tonight. I was really hoping that Zachary might see something, but I didn't hear him shoot. All he has left is the morning hunt tomorrow, and then he has to head home. Oh, that must be Zachary. I didn't see anything, did you? No, I didn't see nothing. I talked to the guy that has a stand in the clearing. Yeah. He drove by right now coming out, and um, he said that he didn't see nothing either. There's Sarah. So you didn't see anything? Did you hear anything? Or? No, nothing. Yeah, it was pretty dead. That wind died down nice though, didn't it? Yeah, I thought for sure I'd see something because it got quiet. <laughs> and yeah. other people started shooting. Yeah. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It just started, so you might need a finish. Double shallow water's going tonight. Yeah, we got, we got one more. Spent all day barbecuing, slow cooking. Um, you know the way that that uh, uh, most people think about baby rack ribs. Uh, I'm gonna do hear the steam kind of generating from the top there, so we're gonna let that. Uh, uh, should be lit, uh, and the timing should be just right for when we finish, uh, when we finish the the ribs and the pressure cooker. Take a look on the inside. You'll see kind of the ribs poking through. The the meat has shrunk. Uh, Why? Maybe just because I'm cheap or something like that. Uh, but typically, I'll just take. So you can see you got kind of that wonderful grill marks um, on both sides. Kind of that crispy grill exterior, uh, but they're going to be nice and tender without having to spend hours uh, and hours smoking them. So. Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm new. <laughs> okay, everyone. Well, it's about 9:35. They're in there watching a movie right now. I'm gonna start getting my stuff ready and head to bed. 
my alarm is set for 4 o'clock and I want to get everybody else up by 4.30. We'll see you guys in the morning. Well, this morning it's warmed up, it's about 37 degrees and they say it's going for 52 or 53. So of course there's no snow on the ground which will make it harder to see the deer. And it's a little bit windy out which is going to keep the deer down so it'll be interesting to see what happens. Well, it's been a very windy and uneventful morning. I think I'm going to head back to the tent. And Sam and Zach are going to head home. And I think I might go sit out in the clearing stand this afternoon. There they go. Well, it's still windy out there, but it's two o'clock, so Sarah and I are gonna run out to our stands. See you tonight. Well, it's warmed up to about 54 degrees. It's just not even like deer hunting weather out there right now. And it's still really windy and I expect it to be really windy out in that clearing coming from my right side. But uh, you, you can't shoot any deer sitting in the tent so you got to go out anyway. So we'll see what happens. My dad has a stand way on the far side of this clearing and he's walking out to his stand right now. Okay everyone, well it's after shooting time. Time to head back to the tent. Didn't see anything today but Hopefully tomorrow. Did you see anything? Nothing. No, I didn't either. It stayed windy the whole time too. Yeah. That sucked, but. I forgot that you went down there. Oh, did you? This time, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep, I didn't see nothing. Hop in. Okay. Wonder if this roast came from all, or this rib thing came from old Crook or not? Oh, you can't think like that. <laughs> Crookster, right? what yeah. you doing? We're gonna barbecue you up. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's in taking a shower. Those are all my journal notes that I write down during the day. And this is the third journal. The other two are full. Okay everyone, well I'm off to bed, 
Sarah will be going soon, I imagine. <laughs> I'll see you guys at 4, nah, between 4 and 4.30. It's almost 10 o'clock. Good morning, everybody. I'm just about to wake Sarah up, and I'm just looking at the weather here. And for today, it's supposed to be sunny, 54 degrees. I mean, that's unseasonably warm. But looking ahead here, look at that. One to three inches of snow maybe on Thursday, and another three to five possible Thursday night. And then it's supposed to be pretty windy. And then Friday, another inch. Should be an interesting week. Sarah, it's 25 after 4, almost time to get up. Sarah just ate a whole can of canned plums. <laughs> Outhouse girl this afternoon. <laughs> Sarah's going out to her stand, and I'm going to go sit in the clearing again this morning. At least the wind died down today. Yeah, you and I got up at 3 and it was blowing, I thought, oh no. That was my dad getting ready to go in on the far side of the clearing. Well, I think I'm going to head back to the tent. It's really warm, that sun is this morning, so I'm not much moving around. The wind has died down, which is nice, but I haven't seen anything. I did not see anything, did you? No, I didn't. Did you hear anything? No. If you want to sit in the tripod stand tonight, you can. My dad okay. went out there and said there's some deer scrapes out there, so. Okay, I brought my gun back because I kind of want to. Okay. Just gonna do some leftovers for lunch. I was just out there cutting firewood for next season. It's such a nice day out, you hate to waste it. Tonight for the afternoon hunt, Sarah's gonna go sit in a different stand. We call this one the tripod stand. I'm gonna bring her out to it right now. Oh yeah, nice deer scrape right there on the way in. That stand is a, it's a good stand. A lot of deer have been shot out of it, but we always complain because it's the one stand that you have to drag the deer out all the way. You can't bring the four-wheeler because you can't get it through this part. Okay, so back out to the far stand. Well, everyone, it was another unsuccessful night. I didn't see anything. The wind died down so far that it was completely quiet and it just seemed like it was going to be perfect but it's warm. I have my tennis shoes on, don't have my heavy jacket, anything but nothing came by. Was that you walking down the road? Yeah, and then I was like, did I go the wrong way? And I'm like, well, I guess I'll just go back, because he'll probably come back if that was him. <laughs> I drove up there and I looked like you had a fanny pack on and you don't wear one. It's like, I wonder who that hunter is. So nope. I turn around and go back and I get to the tent and you're not there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, I must have went the wrong way. Oh, did you see anything? No. Nothing? Didn't... I thought for sure, because it was really quiet. And I'm like, you know. Yeah, yeah. No. How about you? nothing and it was so quiet it felt exactly like that too but it's so warm i didn't wear my heavy boots didn't put on my heavy jacket nothing so yeah well you got taco duty let's move it Ooh, <laughs> sarah wanted to have tacos up here so she's cooking them up tonight It's 
Some good looking tacos. Yep. Okay, everyone. Well, it's 5 to 10. Time to head for bed. We'll see you guys in the morning. Sarah? Sarah, it's about 4.30. A little bit after. It's 4.35, okay? Rolling everything up because you're going home after the hunt? Yep. Sarah's going back out to the tripod stand for her last morning hunt here. I still got plenty of days here. I'm going to run out to my far stand. George and Tom, they go in right here to their deer stands. They're still up here. They'll be here this morning, but then they're heading back home after, after the morning hunt. Uh, my dad is taking home Sarah, so tomorrow I'll be up here, and tonight I'll be up here all by myself. Well, I have to leave the stand about a half hour early today because my dad's coming over from the folks' cabin and going to pick up Sarah at 10.30 to bring her home because he's going back too. I saw a total of five deer this morning. You guys saw the one on camera. There was another doe that came just as close. And then there was another doe that I saw farther out. And there was two other deer that I couldn't tell what they were. That's one thing about this stand, it's, it's uh, kind of hit or miss, it's really thick in here and I think uh, they like this, it feels safe to them, but I don't always get to see what it is. And I've shot a lot of bucks out here though, so it's a good area. Anyway, I think I'm going to head back, help Sarah out, and then I'll figure out where I'm going to sit this afternoon. I had just put the camera down and two more deer walking right on the edge of the swamp over there. That was just a, you hear that, I don't know if you could hear that, but I can hear them out there now. One was for sure a doe. I think both of them were. I couldn't see the front one really good, but. There she is. Sad she's going home. Did you see anything? Nothing. How about you? Seven deer. All does? Uh, I, you couldn't see all of them, but two of them right when I was just unloading my gun to come down. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Wow. Yep, seven deer this morning. It was active. It was crazy. I can't believe that. I haven't seen one thing this whole trip. Yep, and I've seen a ton of does. Huh. There she goes. Well, now that Sarah left, I think I'm going to go grab the four-wheeler. I want to get all the wood that I cut yesterday run over and put into the splitting pile for next spring. And I'm going to clean up this tent and get a little order back into it. I'm going to have to cut a whole bunch more, but at least it's a good start. Okay guys, well tonight I am going to go up to the clearing stand, the far side clearing stand. The wind has picked up, it's mid, mid 50s out there, so just a horrible deer hunting day, but I don't want to bother that stand that Everything has looked so good this morning and opening morning, so we'll go sit out there and you never know what that stand. Once in a while one will just come out a dumb one or whatever it is. So uh, we'll, we'll give it a try.
probably didn't see anything tonight, but that's all right. If uh, you guys remember a couple of years ago, we had the same scenario where everybody went home, I'm the only one up here, and then I shot a deer, then you have to try to drag that out in the dark and everything like that. And, oh well, I'm excited for tomorrow to go back to that other stand and uh, see what the weather's like. If it's the same, hopefully I'll see some more deer. used to being up here alone a lot but after having the kids up and then Sarah leaving today the last one seems a little lonely sad that all the kids headed home now but uh, there is something to be said about organization and a nice clean tent. This little guy might not like being in there, but he keeps getting in my tent when I leave and making a mess. So tomorrow I am going to relocate him. Okay everyone, well it was a pretty mellow night at the tent. Uh, it was actually really relaxing. Just had leftovers for supper, but it's uh, 9.30 right now, so I have to start getting things ready for bed. Because uh, 4 o'clock is still going to come early. Good morning everybody. It's about 20 after 4 right now. Clear skies outside and not a whole lot of wind, so I'm excited. Well, I didn't see anything, I didn't hear anything except for red squirrels. I thought for sure this morning, I mean, I just had a feeling. No wind, it was perfect. Storm front moving in, um, getting a few sprinkles right now. The big stormy part doesn't hit till tomorrow, but nothing this morning. go back to the tent and uh, I'm going to get that little pine marten and go let that go somewhere else. Then I have to walk out to Sarah's stand because she's sat in that tripod stand the last day. So she has a sleeping bag out there and I want to pull that umbrella roof off the top of it. How you doing little guy? I fed him some pork this morning and last night. He ate that whole entire donut. I'll give him a little more water right now and then we'll go let him go.
No harm done. And just let them go on the other side of the lake at the boat landing. He just has to run around the lake to get back home. One grouse for the deer camp freezer. I'm gonna walk out to Sarah's stand like I said, grab that umbrella and that sleeping bag. I did grab my deer rifle here. And what was it, two or three years ago, I think? I was walking out just like this, got into this first clearing you see right here. Nine point buck gets up, tries to be the man and run across the opening and I dropped him. Just one of those times when you always wanna make sure you have your gun with you. I think I'll drive the road to the end just to see if there's any more grouse, then go back to the tent and I might even just clean that grouse and fry it up with some, I don't know, something else with it for lunch. Definitely the calm before the storm. Look at that lake, it's like glass. All right, well, here we have that grouse. Fairly cleaned up. All I'm gonna do is take all the meat I can off with no bones. And a lot of people say when you clean them, why don't you just, you know, step on the wings and pull and then you just get the breast. I mean, there is meat on these thighs that are pretty good, so. in there, canned mushrooms, and then we'll throw in a can of sliced potatoes. Looks like a delicious lunch to me. Back out to the deer stand. Well, once again, I did not see anything out there. Uh, the wind has now switched. It was from the south southwest, now it's from the north northwest. Uh, the storm is definitely coming in, and I'm really hoping that that'll get the deer moving. Well, tonight for supper, I'm just going to barbecue up some turkey wings. I'm going to do four. I'll have a couple for supper, a couple for lunch. That's why I'm making an extra baked potato also. But I mean, $2.59, come on. Two of them is easily feed a person, plus a baked potato and a vegetable. Cheap meal. It's going to be tasting delicious. It would have been cheaper to have back straps or deer heart, but I don't seem to be coming up with anything in that regard. My dad called and you know he brought Sarah home yesterday and he was going to be home for a few days but he got his meetings taken care of or whatever he had to do so he's actually going to come up tomorrow which will be nice. Get into some of that hunt after the storm.
Well, I cannot tell you how great that shower felt. <laughs> it really did. I'm going to eat me some dinner and relax. Okay, everyone. Well, I am off to bed. I was sitting here watching Independence Day for about the 50th time. I need to get to sleep. 4 o'clock comes early. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's a few minutes before 5 o'clock here. Usually I leave to go out to my stand at 5.15. Uh, this morning there's light rain, it's getting windy, the storm is coming now, it's where it started. So uh, there's supposed to be more rain coming, so I'm going to wait until probably 5.45 before I go out. In case it starts raining really hard and blowing really hard, then I wouldn't go, but just going to give it a little bit more time. Well, I think I put forth a good effort this morning. I don't think the deer are going to come out and play. <laughs> uh, I think it's time to go back to the tent where there's a nice warm wood stove. Take a good look though. This should look a lot different next time I come out to this stand. Shooting the grouse 100 200 feet from the tent <laughs> right down the tent driveway. I was just out driving around before I shot that grouse because I've got a deer stand right about here is where my far stand is. And I'm just out looking for other areas because if you go past here over the little river there's nothing and then there's this old logging trail that goes way back so I drove all the way way up here. If a person had a four-wheeler and went back here, this might be a good area. So I just like to check things out right now during deer season to see where people have hunted and nobody's been back there. I'm just going to do some fruit and some leftovers and some string cheese for lunch. And then I can have those turkey wings I did last night and baked potato for supper tonight. I'm heading out to the clearing stand. I was going to go a little bit earlier. Well, the rain just turned over to snow about a half hour ago. But my dad came up from back home and he stopped at the tent and was there for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour chatting. So I'm going to go out now for the last two hours here and uh, we'll see what happens. It's still really wet out, but at least it's snowing. Legal shooting time just ended. I have to say it was pretty fun to watch that snow coming down. Okay everyone, well it's about 10 minutes to 10. 
still snowing pretty good out here, so I'm going to go to bed, and hopefully tomorrow morning we'll have some luck in the deer stand. Good morning, everybody. We got probably, I don't know, three or four inches of snow on the ground. Still kind of windy this morning. be able to look and see on my drive to the stand if any deer have crossed the road or if they're all just still holed up waiting for the storm to stop. I even drove beyond my stand and turned around and now I'm coming back to where I go in. I did not see one deer track and that's miles of driving. They must be really holed up. I mean, the numbers are really down still in northeastern Minnesota, but we've been seeing some deer, so I don't know where they are this morning. Looks like the weight of the snow has crushed down my roof. I'm not going to stay out here too much longer. Everybody in their right mind knows that the deer aren't going to be moving this morning. It's supposed to get sunny this afternoon. The wind is supposed to die down. Much better time. Of course, if I shoot a deer before I leave, I'm going to, you're never going to see this clip. I'm going to tell you how I stuck it out. I got it done. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick of sitting in a deer stand. That wood stove feels good. It's chilly out there. George and Tom are out on their stands this afternoon. Usually they just sit in the morning, but the weather was so crappy this morning. They didn't go out, and uh, he texted me and said that there are no tracks out by their stand either, but the sun is kind of trying to peek out here, so who knows? They gotta come out eventually. Okay, so I made it out to my stand. The wind has died down and there was like three sets of tracks, older ones, that have come through the snow. At least there have been deer here in the last day. Well, shooting time just ended. It was such a perfect night tonight too. I'm thinking that aliens came and transported all of the deer out of northeastern Minnesota. That's what it is. <laughs> wow. Tomorrow morning is supposed to be really nice also. I think I'm going to come out to the same stand. Let's see if my dad is still parked up here where he was. No, he already headed back.
27 outside, 79 degrees inside. For supper tonight, I'm making some baked potatoes, like always. <laughs> They're easy. And I make a bunch of them because you're going to have them for lunch. And I'm going to do a chuck roast because it'll last today, tomorrow for lunch, and maybe even tomorrow for supper. We'll see. Ice chunks floating in the water. <laughs> This morning when I got up there was some other pine marten tracks on the front porch and I know that there are at least two, maybe several of them around here so I'm just going to see if I can catch a second one and relocate that one also. Alright everyone, well it's 10-11 at night, it's uh, 24 degrees outside, clear skies, no wind. Maybe tomorrow will be the day. Good morning everybody. Doesn't look like we caught anything in the trap last night. Well, earlier this morning I was ready to about throw in the towel for the day, but then I saw those three deer. So I did sit out here quite a while longer, but nothing seems to be happening. So time to head back to the tent. It's almost all iced over now. A couple little spots open, but it's going to get warm today. It'll probably open back up, but it's chilly right now. Well, looks like we caught another little critter, huh? There's number two. You're, yeah. You're look different than the other one. 
I'm gonna relocate you two. Definitely Saturday at the tent. Gotta have that polka. <laughs> Well, I just edited and uh, posted the video on the Pine Martin and the Live Trap, and I'm going to have me some lunch here. And uh, about 2 o'clock, I want to get back out to the stand. Well, I'm headed down to my bar stand this afternoon. I think I'll drop that uh, Pine Martin off down there. It's a few miles down, so. <laughs> Take him a long time to get back anyway. Well everyone, shooting time just ended for today. I need to pull my sleeping bag out of here, the seat cushion. This will be the last time in this video that I sit in this stand. I'm gonna hunt the morning hunt tomorrow and then I have to head home. I got work to do this week. And uh, so I'm gonna pull this out tomorrow morning. I'm gonna sit in that clearing stand. That was really a nice night tonight though. Just nothing here, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Did not hear one shot either, and today is Saturday, so there are people out hunting somewhere within 10 miles of here, and I heard no shots. Getting kind of close down there, a quarter tank of gas. I filled up when I left uh, the last gas station. It takes a quarter tank to get back to the next gas station, which is the same one. <laughs> Cutting her close. One more morning going out to the stand. It's 33 outside. 74 in. It feels nice in here. And went up almost to where you walk in, then they would run all the way back down into the into the ravine into the woods the one day, then it ran all the way back up, and then eventually they they shot straight across, like going towards George's old stand, way back that direction. So, you know. I was just talking to my dad. He didn't see anything out at the tripod stand, and no fresh tracks or anything, but he's gonna go give that one a try in the morning. Well, when I brought clothes up, I brought enough for a lot of days and I want to leave a couple of days worth of clothes in the dresser. It's like I have this dresser up here and I have nothing in it. <laughs> so I'm going to leave a couple of days of clothes so when I come up in the winter time, I don't have to bring any clothes in. I can actually bring clothes out and then with the food that I bring in, that will give me room in my, my little backpack or sled or whatever I bring it in on. out all of the canned food that can freeze and it's surprising how much crap I've got up here even though I thought we would eat a bunch of it. <laughs> uh, I hope that I come up next weekend but if I don't come up next weekend that's it. All this stuff would freeze so it's got to go back with me and if I come up next weekend I'll have to just bring up what I need to eat and that's it. I buy kipper snacks for up here when we're deer hunting and what we do is we wait till we get a deer then we can all have a kipper snack. <laughs> so I had a couple up here but not enough so then I bought more up here. Some of these have been up here, brought back home, brought back up and now we have even more of them and so far nobody gets to eat any kipper snacks.
I always charge up the shower battery at the end of deer hunting and at opening fishing, but it, it's almost, it's like 80% full, so we're good. stuff that has to go back. Most of it's freezeable or opened. And it just all has to go dirty clothes. And I'll bring that out in the morning. Okay everyone, well, I got everything cleaned up. Everything that needs to go out in the truck is all bagged and ready to go like you saw. Uh, the rest of the night here I'm just going to relax. I'm going to have leftovers for supper tonight. I don't want to make any dishes and uh, tomorrow morning it'll be just like any other morning. Back out to the deer stand. It's a very nice night tonight. You guys can't see it, but the stars are super bright. They're always really bright up here because there's no light pollution. 31 degrees, no wind. Okay, everyone. Well, it's 20 after 10, and I'm off to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's about a quarter after 5 right now. I've been up since about a quarter after 4, just getting everything straightened up here. The last few things I need to bring home I put out here and it's just about time to head out to the deer stand. Alright, let's go do it one more time. I was just about to get out of my truck and George stopped by. He was driving out to there so I talked to him and Tom for a few minutes. Here we got the planet Venus. Right above it, you can't see it, but Mars is up there too. Well, everyone, I think we're gonna have to call it a week. It was a really nice morning. Just nothing came out. My dad did text me. He had a big doe come by. Um, I seen a text that I missed from George and Tom yesterday, and I knew that George had seen the four, but I didn't know that Tom had saw one yesterday also and he was pretty sure it was a doe, so kind of sad. I didn't get to use my new knife from George. Um, it's hard to find a knife like that with a really hard steel, so I'll leave the uh, link to his website in the description if you guys want to check these out. I'll definitely get to use it in the future, I know that. Well, I think I'll go back to the tent. I got about an hour of stuff to do there, getting stuff in packed into the truck. And I got a four hour drive home. I got to unload the truck and get all the tools put in there for work for tomorrow. Um, if everything goes good, my dad's gonna be staying up here now for a few more days anyway. And if everything goes good, I'll come back out this coming up weekend, the last weekend of our season. And uh, maybe I'll get something then. So I had a good time though. I put in all my time. I didn't uh, skip any days or nothing like that. So you can only do what you can do. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. Everything is shut down, power shut down, everything's nice and clean. And just waiting till next time I come up.